Nestled on the forest floor among the moss and dead leaves is a bountiful harvest, but only if you know what you're looking for. You go swimming in the summer, you pick mushrooms in the autumn, you go play in the snow in winter. It kind of marks the season and it's like a tick in the autumn or late summer, I think, when you've been out picking your mushrooms or fungi. Puffballs are my favourite mushroom. Um, they are almost um, foolproof because all puffballs are edible. And it seems more people than ever are foraging for mushrooms for both personal and commercial yeah, use. The there is a danger, I think, in uh, over-harvesting very small patches of certain species. And that this is uh, chanterelle, and uh, it's one of the, the only species I've seen in here that is edible, that I know of. You know, there's very, very little left in here. This is one of the small, small patches of chanterelle in this area. Richard isn't the only one who's noticed the uptake in foragers. Now I'm quite often thinking, should I be picking? How many should I be leaving? And again, thinking about wildlife, you know, that they also need the fungi. Only last week I walked through here and there were a lot of chanterelle and I suspect somebody's been and foraging and harvesting them. Um, there are still a few around, but uh, they've largely disappeared. We've seen the little purple, tiny little purple ones. We've yep. seen the, the big sort of chunky ones that we've, we've got here, the big brown ones. Yep. We've got the yellow ones just behind me. I mean, are any of them edible? They not, look nothing like the, the chanterelle you showed me earlier. As, as far as I know, I'm not a mycologist. That's a fungal expert. Uh, but as far as I know, one of them is edible but not worth eating. And the only one in here that I know uh, that is edible, that I would forage for myself, would be the chanterelle. So I suppose the message is that if you don't know, if you're not sure, don't risk it. Don't risk, absolutely don't risk it. Don't let that put you off. There's plenty to discover without risking an upset tummy or worse. It's not just about eating them look at them and enjoy them and you might want to collect a small number of different species and put them on a piece of paper and let the spores create the most beautiful prints on a piece of paper for you. So it's a magical world. Isla Todd, ITV News.